Today with me we have this 2023 Audi Q7 Premium Plus 55, which is one of Audi's top trim levels for this particular model right here. Now this car is finished in this beautiful black color, but today we're going to be talking about all the key features about this car, and we'll be discussing whether or not this car is worth its $55,000 price tag. My name is Trent and you're watching God Next. All right, now starting out with the specs about this car. This car has been outfitted with a three liter V6 engine, which boasts 335 horsepower with a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Also, since this is the Premium Plus 55 version of this car, it does boast a zero to 60 of 5.7 seconds, which is nothing to scoff at. Now these are great numbers for a family car like this, and this is exactly what you'd be looking for when you're looking for a luxurious SUV for your family. Now with this car, you know exactly what you're gonna get, which is a luxurious looking SUV. And to be honest, looks are one of the most important aspects when it comes to the car buying process. And Audi did a great job with the overall design of this car. The black color really pops, which makes the other signature features stand out a lot more, such as the grille, headlights, and many other features, as well as the overall design language. This car's also been outfitted with these beautiful wheels, which have the silver accents finished on it as well, which really make the wheel stand out. Continuing with the side of this car, you'll notice that this design language does go all the way to the back of the car, which is exactly what you'd expect. This car also does have this beautiful little silver trim piece right here, which does say Quattro on the side of it as well. Just another little feature, you know, that stands out, looks great. Moving on to the back, you get these beautiful tail lights, which also look great at nighttime, even during the daytime. You got the model number here. You got the signature Audi logo. Of course, that's what you get on all Audis. Overall, it's just a great looking car, front, side, and back. There's not much to complain about on the exterior of this car. Talking about storage space on this car, this car does come with a third row seat. So you don't get a ton of storage back here. In fact, you only get about 14.2 cubic feet of storage, which isn't a ton. It's more than capable of doing your grocery hauls or just you know storing some smaller items back there. But if you do want more storage space, you can knock down that third row, which will quadruple your overall cubic storage to 69.6 .6 feet of storage space, which is perfect for those bigger items. And in my honest opinion, I'd probably usually just leave the third row down there's not much use for it unless you're gonna be carrying more people. Now that we're actually inside this car, you'll notice how modern it looks as well as how modern it feels. You get this beautiful infotainment system that's touchscreen. You also get this electronic gauge cluster, which is honestly way better than I thought it would look. But one of the most important factors about any car is practicality, which this car has tons of practical options. You get all the creature comforts you could want, such as you know heated front seats as well as heated rear seats. This car also does have the cooling front seats, which is another great feature as well. This car also comes with a great audio system with the Bang & Olsen speakers. To be honest, it's one of my favorite speakers out there on the market. It sounds great. It gives you all the you know sound profiles you could want. Overall, the interior of this car just looks and feels great. The gear selector looks great. You know, I like its bulkiness. It really fits well in the hand. You have plenty of different drive modes from you know off-road, comfort, auto, and dynamic which, you know, it's more than capable for whatever you need it for, other than maybe some heavy off-roading, but it's more than capable for, you know, some easy dirt road trails. Another feature about this car is in the rear seats, you do get window shades, which are great for, you know, situations where you have small kids back there. You don't want the sun blinding them, you know, makes it easier for them to sit back there. And this car also has tons of headspace, plenty of leg space for all the passengers. You know, you won't hear complaints. This could be a great car for a long road trips, It'd be a great car just for any occasion overall. Personally, there's not much to complain in the back of this car, and I think Audi really outdid themselves with the overall design features from exterior and interior on this car. Now, driving the car, it's a great experience. The steering is really responsive. It turns, you know, just as you expect it to. You don't get that lag you get with other car brands sometimes. But also, the throttle response is, eh, it's a little slow, but once it kicks in, it does kick in great. It picks up speed real quick. It's just what you'd expect with, you know, 335 horsepower. This is exactly what you'd want. As far as, you know, comfort goes, I've got plenty of space in here. I can see all around the car. The mirrors look great. Give me a wide range of viewing. We're all just a great family car. And the touchscreen, you know, it's easily accessible to change your climate controls, change your drive mode. You got all the buttons right here. You can adjust the volume pretty easily. And all the buttons on the steering wheel, you know, make it even easier for you to control what you need to control. Overall, I think the interior, the driving experience, everything about this car is great, and I'd personally recommend it. Overall, I do believe this car is worth its $55,000 price tag. You get tons of amazing features. You get a beautiful interior, 
that's got so many options for both front and passenger back seat, or it's got so many options for both front seats and the rear seats as well, but you also get a decent amount of horsepower for a family car like this. But let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.